your music is often described as uh, epic metal. Do you use that term yourself when you're describing your music? Mm, not really. Uh, I always try to classify our music as um, uh, melodic power metal with progressive elements. And uh, well, I don't really care what, what, what kind of a label others put on us, but uh, that's how I like to describe it myself. Well, your new album is called Epica. What's the reason for that? Well, there's three reasons actually. Uh, and um, well, first of all, it is a physical place in the story, in part two actually. Uh, and uh, uh, it is it is describing the inner universe or the epicenter of the universe. Uh, and it's also a title that we felt was cool to use since it is, uh, well, the most majestic, uh, bombastic camel release to date. Mm -hmm. uh, you say in part two, does that mean you have already planned a part two of this album, Epica? Yeah, it's, it's already in the in the process. Okay, so, well, how far in the process are you? Have you been oh, recording only already? Songwriting, or? I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of the songwriting is done mm -hmm. for, for uh, part two. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that's, it's planned to come out in 2004. Did you write all the songs uh, at the same time for, for both albums, or did you start writing for number two after you had finished the songwriting for number one? A couple of the songs were written during uh, the process of writing uh, part one. Mm -hmm. How do you work when you write uh, such an album? I mean, uh, it's, it is what we call an, a concept album. Um, do you have the story first and then write the music for the story or do you have the music and then you write the story or do you have some ideas of, of both and just combine them? Uh, how do you work? Well, the main, the main difference on, on this album compared to the albums that we did in the past is, of course, that we, we this time we had a concept or a story or an outline of a story that we wanted to use and that way we had to, to make music that was um, emphasizing or, or uh, supporting the, the story, uh, not lyrics, I mean the lyrics, the details in the lyrics were written uh, maybe even up till the day before I went in the studio. But the story, the, the, the plot for the whole thing was made uh, quite early. And uh, well, that, that, it kind of changed the songwriting process slightly, but uh, it, it's not really that different from, from writing uh, the music first and then the lyrics. Uh, was it planned to release two albums uh, with this concept from the beginning or did you just have so much material and did it take uh, that many songs to to tell the story? Mm -hmm. No, the idea was from the beginning to make it two parts. It is based on part one of Faust uh, and uh, well, part two will, will obviously be, be based on part two of Faust. All right, so it will not be a trilogy for sure. No, I mean, <laughs> we might do something, you know, to 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 uh, round it off somehow uh, later at a certain point, but uh, it's definitely thought out as a as a two part concept. All right, the album has just been released, and uh, there have been a lot of, of great reviews. Uh, it is a great album, of course. Are you hundred um, percent satisfied with what you did with the album yourself? Well, you're never really, you're never really 100% happy with, with everything, and there's always things you'd like to have done differently. Uh, but um, we always, you know, do the best we can with the uh, available resources at the time. And I also felt that this time we managed pretty much to, to uh, fulfill the vision that we had of of, of this being a very visual uh, uh, theater kind of an album. Is it always the, the current album that is the best in your opinion? Most of the time, yeah. I mean, it, it has kind of been like that always. And whether that is because um, you're so much into into the thing you're doing at the moment or if that is actually how you uh, really feel or, or what you really mean, I'm not sure. But uh, when I look back upon the al albums that I've done, in my life, uh, 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 I kind of feel that it has been getting better and better. There is a lot of orchestration on, on your albums. Uh, how, how do you work with that? Do you, do you know how it will work when you write the songs or do you add and, and try out the orchestration during uh, the demoing of, of, mm. of the, the albums? Well, that's done many different ways. Sometimes we use... Uh, um, of course, the, the main thing is always written before we, we take it down to Sasha Miro. 
Uh, some things are really well arranged out, but of course, I mean Miro, uh, who does the the keyboards and the string arrangements uh, on our on our stuff, is is extremely good. There's no way I could do that better than him or as good as him. So uh, uh, the way it is, uh, the way we do it is is mostly uh, uh, we make a rough scheme of the arrangement and and Miro takes it from there and we use a wild mixture of, of real instruments and and um, and keyboards mm. uh, when are you going to um, hire a permanent keyboard player for your band I mean uh, you always use keyboards and I'm sure you will do that in the future as well why don't you have a permanent keyboard player well the the the, the problem or the good thing is that we have Miro who is kind of a fifth member in Camelot on the on the s- albums um, and and since he can't tour we have to you know have somebody filling in when we're touring and and that's probably always going to be somebody new or or not a fixed member at least we kind of like this idea of of working with different kinds of people and uh yeah uh, it's been working really nice uh up till now and and uh, on this tour is going to be Matt Olafsson from uh, Mumps in an Ark from day one, when when you joined uh, Camelot, you said that um, the team with uh, Thomas Youngblood and you are great when it, when it comes to songwriting. Um, mm-hmm. uh, is this only getting better and better uh, as you get to know each other better, or is it harder to come up with uh, with uh, new and, and great songs that are different from what you've done before? Mm-hmm. Well, at least up till now, it's been been uh, uh, well, if not better and better, at least it's been stable somehow. Uh, and uh, I don't know how long that's going to last, but but it seems to me that that um, um, that that magic in the songwriting between me and Thomas is still there, and and I don't see any reason why it should change. Uh, do you ever think of how uh, successful it's? Uh possible to be w- with your music uh, and how do you measure um, success yourself is it from the amount of albums you sell how much you can tour how much money you make how famous you'll get mm. um, are you, you pleased with the success of the band or do you think you can take it much further um, well sometimes we dream about taking it much further but uh, we have for sure ha- uh, had a really nice progress since uh, I joined the band in, in uh, 97 and uh, I can't really say that I've been hoping uh, to be more successful than we actually have been since then but of course everybody dreams about selling a million records. 